shiny gems we are back with another pippy mod tutorial if you like the video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the youtube channel for some more pippy mods today we'll be discussing the action node all right let's get started okay guys we are back in draco's mushy editor as you can see we are going to be discussing the action node. So let's bring up the action node because it has as many options as the condition node. Okay, so let's discuss each action node's options. All right, really quickly. So this is the action node and here's the drop down. Lots and lots of stuff. Okay, but let's go through it. First, you can say it takes none, no action. You can give the player an item. Um, and you can search that item and then of course you got to make sure you tell them how much um, You can remove an item you can give a quest you can complete a quest again quest here um, quest name Make sure to I, I would make sure to also notify the player that they're getting that quest and if it has a time limit There's the time limit it expires in one day or something like that um, you can complete the quest and let the player know that they completed the quest. Again, quest names are case sensitive. Um, you can delete the quest and notify the player that it was deleted. You can give funds. Again, Pippi Mod funds. Um, not any other funds. Remove funds. Same idea. Uh, cause a trigger. We'll discuss this a little bit more into detail a little later but a pippy tool name um this is like for your spawners you spawn a creature in and um this action will trigger that spawn um and you can invoke a signal to show where that spawn is give a recipe again you can look it up same thing with the condition nodes um remove a recipe same idea look it up uh, look, you can use the search button to look it up. You can play a sound. Um, you'll have to put in the path to that sound and then you can test it. Um, you can give experience, not, not a level, but a give experience itself. Uh, you can close the dialogue. So if I were to, um, go over here and put this action note over here and say the dialogue automatically closes right after he's done doing this then the dialogue will close okay that's what closing dialogue does all right so you can set a rank again ranks we've discussed before if you need a need a refresher there's a there's the video in the corner for it uh, you can remove ranks uh, you can warp a player to a specific location. Um, this is the warp name. You can look at warps and commands for that video to see how to do warps. Um, you can modify a stat and that is your, um, your health, your max health, your stamina, your max stamina, your attribute health your attribute stamina encumbrance might accuracy athleticism metabolism and uh, resilience okay um, ooh, whoops, wrong button there we go uh, you can you can uh, add or subtract um, see okay add Subtract, multiply, divide, equals, um, a local, global, and character variable. So say you, um, say this here, um, in an earlier quest line system, you gave a person rep but for completing a quest. You would use this action node, um, let, let's say it's a character variable, and you say add... And then of course you name the the character variable we named it wrapped and you say you add five reputation points 
at the end of that quest, okay? Make sure it's hooked up and everything as well. But that's basically how you would add the character variable to the player at the end of a quest line. And it would automatically add it to it. All right, um, that's the same with global and local variables for the thespians. You can give a kit. So if you have a kit specific to a quest, you can give that. Um, you can do chat message. Uh, first off, you can choose the location in the chat, global, local, or private, um, to the, char the character name and the message. Uh, and then, of course, you can do a webhook message. We discussed webhooks uh, in an earlier video, so if you want that, it should be popping up any second. Um, I have no webhooks hook hooked up and ready to go, but if I did, you could choose the webhook and then the message for the webhook. All right, that's what an action node is. It actually just does something, okay? Um, all right, so uh, we're gonna add this action node to here. I wouldn't recommend doing this in an actual quest, but this is us trying to do stuff and help you figure out what you're doing. We're gonna say local variable, and yeah, we're gonna say adds 10 rep, okay? Um, and then, uh, we're going to have it close, close the dialogue, um, action, close dialogue. I like the fact that you can close the dialogue. I really do. Um, close dialogue. Okay. There we go. Okay. So. Once it's done this, it will give me the rep and then I'll close the dialogue. Okay. All right. So we hit save and we hit, uh, quit and then we hit apply and we hit close and give me one moment. Okay. We're in the player menu. As you can see, I do not have a character variable on this character. So we're going to gain one really quickly. We walk up to Draco here and we press E. Hey, it looks like you are far too young and inexperienced for this area. Level requirement, 30. And that was a little fast, but that's okay. And it said I required the rep of 10. All right. So if we go back into the admin panel real quick. And we click the character variable. I now have 10 rep because of the action node. Okay. So if we go close. Let's see. And now we can talk to Draco and have our options and we can hit my name and so on and so forth. Okay. All right, guys, that was the basics of the action node. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget Stay shiny, and I'll see you guys all next time.